So I do a lot of portable monitor reviews for this channel and these people said, hey, we've got a dual monitor to turn your 15 to 17 inch monitor into a tri monitor setup. And uh, you could do a lot of productivity and depending on the system, you can actually do a panorama mode where all three monitors have like a virtual connection. You can run resolutions like 3085 by 1080 to have super widescreen views. These are running 1080p and they, they're not cheap per se, but um, the design isn't cheap either. It actually holds up pretty well. So I know this is going to be a very niche product, but it's also kind of interesting at the same time. So let's go ahead. We're going to unbox it. We're going to set it up. We're going to try it on a Mac and a PC and let's see our thoughts. All right, so unboxing experience here. It comes in this white box, pretty similar size box to any monitor. You do get the screen protectors. I did not put them on in this video. There's plenty of foam throughout the whole package it's very very well packaged the whole box has like a foam insert very very dense foam and then this is a tri-fold the monitor folds in on itself so as far as portability i would agree it's fairly portable it's just an extra thing you'd put alongside your laptop um as far as adapters here you got hdmi to mini hdmi you have power usb-c to usb-c um and then you get one power brick and the power brick only has one spot on it. I imagine they did that because if you are running an HDMI connection, um, it's kind of hard to run dual HDMI. Most laptops only have a single HDMI cord. So maybe you're only powering one monitor at a time. They figured that's the route they're going to go on it. Now, there are all the different ways you could set this up. You know, you go USB-C, you can go dual USB-Cs, you can go USB-C and a mini HDMI. That's what I'm actually doing here is I have the monitor on the right hooked up via usb via HDMI and it's, it's plugged in. And then the monitor on the left is running USB-C directly into my USB-C slot. Now keep this in mind, you probably need a newer computer that could do power over USB, especially USB type C. So keep that in mind. There's a whole compatibility list on their website if you're thinking about doing this. Um, the screen on the left is at 100% brightness. My laptop screen's at about 80% brightness. And then the screen on the right is at 80% brightness okay so keep that in mind it, it could be as bright as the one on the left and i'm just showing you what my typical multitasker do you can see i have a youtube video on one screen maybe i'm browsing the internet on the third screen and you have like a some sort of you know micro you're doing microsoft excel or a word document so you know if you're going to your hotel room or if you even just work at home and you want more of like a desktop experience without taking up a lot of tabletop space you know without having a mount it mounts right onto your monitor here Speaking of mounting, it's, it only fits supposedly 15 to 17 inch monitors. So keep that in mind as far as if you have a 13 inch, like a MacBook Air or something, I don't believe this will fit. Not to mention you need a newer MacBook that'll have the USB type C, uh, not the older ones. But you can see I'm seamlessly dragging from left to right, and it really is a seamless experience. The drivers within Windows will allow you to, you know, prioritize which monitor you want where. You know, uh, these are only 1080p screens. They are only 60 hertz. Um, so keep that in mind. They're, they're nothing, you know, out there. They're very, they're good, but you're not going to get, you know, a crazy uh, response time, you know, higher refresh rates or even, uh, you know, ten, uh, 1440p or uh, 4K. It's just 1080, which, you know, it, it, I'm sure you can find them. They're just going to be a lot more expensive. Here are some of the menu items. You can see that there is an HDR mode, but usually on panels like this, the HDR mode, you know, I prefer it off myself. Now, here are the inputs and the outputs and how I kind of had it set up. Um, you know, you see there HDMI and power on one, and then the other one was strictly USB-C. You can see how it connects to the back of my laptop here, just kind of telescopes, telescopes out. And uh, it's got a little kickstand there that keeps the whole thing, keeps your whole laptop from falling down, right? Because this is added weight onto your laptop. So that's it. Uh, my final thoughts are, yeah, I think you could do some serious multitasking with this. Uh, gaming would be really cool if the system can support the panorama view or like what I'm doing here is where you can do some gaming while you're also watching a YouTube video or somebody on Twitch and then maybe even have a browser open. So multitaskers, thumbs up. Gaming, if you can set it up, yes. And then let's check it out on a Mac here. All right, so here's a MacBook Pro within the last couple of years. You can see it works just great. I'm going USB-C to USB-C, no external power at all. These are running at full brightness, both the left and the right. And then the MacBook, at some point is at full brightness as well. And, um, you know, 
if you were coding, for example, you can have, you know, code on the right, you can be searching on the left, you can have like a video on your center screen, uh, you can have Excel open, we we're trying to figure out how much power it was drawing from the computer, we couldn't find it in the in the power draw here. But um, it didn't seem like it was draining the battery that much. We didn't have the MacBook uh, plugged in either. This was running entirely off of batteries here. Uh, so <clears throat> my buddy here said it's cool. You know, he doesn't foresee him using a setup like this, but it is cool, especially for somebody who who needs like this wider screen and have multiple tabs open and things. Here's some YouTube playback comparing this monitor to the MacBook monitor, the Retina monitor here. And uh, in a second here, we'll sync up the video so you can see exactly uh, the differences between the two. But um, minimal wiring, you know, and as I said earlier, you know, if if a PlayStation 5 or like an Xbox can really take advantage of the panoramic view, you know, maybe you, I could see doing that or, or mirroring the screen or, um, you know, some setup like that. But really, you know, I, I don't know. I think different people have different, you know, setups but i'm just thinking from a multitasking perspective you know i think this is where this will make a lot of sense to a lot of people so that's what i think let me all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch up on the next one there's some glare here because this is you can see my backyard behind me there's some sunlight coming in but it's a good test right you can see how it'll look with some natural light shining through